Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be sharing the best way to fix this site can't be reached problem. Whenever you try to open any kind of website, it says the site cannot be reached or the site can't be reached. I will be sharing few effective solutions that you need to apply and I'm pretty sure that by the end of this video, your problem will be fixed. First thing that I would recommend you that whenever you get this message, if you find any option here that says try running windows network diagnostic you have to click on it and it will start detecting the problem and it says problem found the diagnostic policy service is not running so what you will have to do you just need to click on your search box type here services then click services app then you have to look for the diagnostic policy service so look for diagnostic policy service here it is double click on it okay now we can see that this service has been stopped so in the startup type you have to select to automatic then you have to click on start and then you have to click on apply then click on ok now you can close it then click on close and again try to reload the page and see that if the problem has been fixed all right so now the website is coming up okay so next in case it's still if this doesn't work for you then what you will have to do click on the three dot at the right in top then click on settings from the left in menu option click on privacy and security then click on clear browsing data choose from basic to advanced time range choose all time check all the options here uncheck password and autofill form data then click on clear data wait until the deleting process has been completed and after that you can check again if the problem has been fixed and if not then from setting page only from the left menu option click on reset settings then click restore setting to their original default then click on reset setting again and check if the problem has been fixed now in case none of this method work for you the next what you will have to do click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl then you have to hit the enter key the network connection box will be up that will display all kind of network connection now here you have to look for the Wi-Fi or Ethernet through whichever you are connected. Just right click on it, click on properties. And here you will find internet protocol version 6. You just need to uncheck this option. Alright, once unchecked, then click on OK. And see that if the problem has been fixed. If you are connected with Wi-Fi, right click on Wi-Fi, click on properties. You will get internet protocol version 6. Uncheck this option, then click on OK. All right, now after doing this, reload the page again and see if the problem has been fixed. And if not, then what else you can do? You can also try uh, using the DNS server address. So what you will have to do, right click on the connection through which you are connected. Then click on properties. You will be getting internet protocol version 4. Double click on it. And here if you are already using any kind of DNS server address, then you need to go with the first option that says obtain DNS server address automatically. And if it's already been set to obtain DNS server address automatically, then you have to select the second option. And in the preferred, you have to type 1, 1, 1 and 1. And in the alternate, you have to type 1, 0, 0, 1. Then click on OK and then you have to click on OK again. Now after this, you also need to make sure that no proxy setting is enabled on your laptop or PC. So click on Windows search, type proxy. You will be getting proxy settings. And here you get an option of manual proxy setup. So this option should be disabled. It should be turned off. If the automatically detect setting has been enabled, that's fine. Only this option should be enabled. None of the other options should be enabled and turned on here. Okay, so if it's been enabled, you have to disable option. Then you can close it. Next, you have to click on the search box again, type CMD. Right click on command prompt, then click on run as administrator. Then click on yes, the black window will be coming up. Now here you have to run few command that is IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Hit enter. The next command will be NETSH space winsock space reset. The third command will be NETSH INT space IP space reset. Now after applying all these uh, command, you have to restart your PC or laptop and after that Check back again, I'm pretty sure that you would be now able to access the website. In case still if you have the issues, then keep in mind that this problem can be also because 
from the administrator of the website. So you have in that case, you will have to request through an email to that website owner. Okay. So what else you can do? You can try opening that website on some different devices in order to find out that the problem is with your PC, your browser, or the problem is, is with the website. All right. So that's all guys. Hopefully this complete list of solution will surely help you. And if yes, do not forget to like and subscribe for any question, any problem, let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.